Scorpios. Welcome to the weekly love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from October 22nd to the 31st. So for my newbies, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining. Thank you for viewing, subbing, liking, sharing, commenting. Um, before we get started, I always do a meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So keep in mind the messages that come out during the meditative session uh, can pertain directly to you or someone within your environment or someone you're energetically attached to. Too. And it is energy, so it is fluid, so the roles can be reversed. Reverse them if it resonates, okay? Scorpio, I was getting a lot of little things with you, and then I started getting into big, into some big stuff, and I was like, you know what, let me hop on before I forget all the little things that came out. So the first thing I saw was a park, actually. Um, a lot of you could just be really needing to be around nature. I actually recommend being more around water, because you are a water sign. We're coming into your season relatively soon. Um, so Scorpios, just be sure to do that, okay? And also, happy early birthday to my fellow October Scorpios out there. Shout out to Evolved Butterfly as well. I think her, day's, her birthday's the day after mine. I think she's the 25th. Anyway, Scorpios. Um, I do feel a lot of you might be going to festivals and things of that nature, just like you know, October related stuff, Halloween related stuff, things like that. And I did hear, uh, blah, 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 sorry, it's <laughs> a Mercury retrograde already. Um, I did hear Scorpio's Scorpio season came early. Mm. And I'm going to get into that energy in a minute. I want to continue with the little channelings that I was getting here. Okay. So just make sure that you're around water at this time. If you can take a lot more baths, Versus, versus showers if you can, if you have access like a pool, go swimming instead of your normal workout, like just be in water for, <clears throat> excuse me, just be in water right now if you possibly can, okay? Then I got something about ice cream. <laughs> I was like, why am I seeing ice cream? Uh, Scorpios, I feel like you or someone you're connecting with has the idea to go out for ice cream and I think it's kind of to like soften a blow. I gotta be honest, I feel like it's to soften a blow here, okay? Um, I don't know if someone's breaking up or just has bad, I feel like it's just bad news. Yeah, I feel like it's bad news or heavy news. And it's almost like, let's go get ice cream. And then someone's thinking, cause it's gonna make this a lot easier. <laughs> like ice cream makes everything better. Scorpio, that could be your plan or someone could be planning to do this for you. So if you're not planning that and someone's like, hey Scorps, I kinda want ice cream. Just get your, just get yourself ready, okay? Get yourself ready. Um, I couldn't tell what flavor it was. I did see like very light colored flavors. Uh, and I just heard natural. Oh, that's interesting, natural. So maybe you're gonna go for like organic ice cream or something like that, or like a natural vanilla. Anyway, totally doesn't matter. There was like one channeling out there for some of you, for one of you, for one of you. Okay, Scorpios. Then I have this energy of, uh, this is so funny, like playing possum, like playing dead playing dead okay i actually like this is you scorpio that you might be playing dead <laughs> like it's so weird that you're still telling me that like playing possum or something with someone or in a situation it's almost like like you're trying to avoid a shit storm you're like you know animals play dead so they don't get eaten right oh scorpios you're playing something down i like it you're you're playing something down or you're just going totally quiet and waiting for the predator to just kind of scoop by. Oh, that's so interesting, Scorpio. Oh, I like this. I actually really like this. You know, you know, someone's up to no good. Someone's sniffing you out, and they're, you know, they're hungry for whatever you got, or like, you know, being a little bit of a snake with you or whatever. And you already know to play dead. <laughs> take the metaphor as the metaphor, okay? I don't think you're actually like, yeah, I'm dead. Um, take just take it the metaphor, the meaning of the metaphor. You're playing dead, so a predator just passes you by. So you avoid a shit storm. I like that. I like it, Scorpio. Very like it. Almost like incognito. I really like that energy. Um, Scorpio, so I do feel some of you are going through a bit of a transformation. I did, oh, interruptions. I just heard interruptions, interruptions. Um, and it's funny because if you're going through a transformation, Scorpio, I think people are not hitting you up more than normal, but I think you feel more interrupted than usual, even if you're not getting hit up as much. Does that make sense? And when we feel that way, guys, sometimes we really do just need alone time, right? Sometimes you just need that. So take that if you need that. Um, but I feel like it is relating to a big transformation you might be going through Scorpio. Scorpio season came early. Yeah, some of you are going through this even before it's actually Scorpio season, okay? Which actually is probably better because Scorpios, I think Scorpio season is going to be amazing for you guys. I'm so excited for you, my fellow Scorpios. I feel like Scorpio season is going to bring a lot of great stuff a lot of great stuff here okay um and also i've been saying this in every video please check where you have uh capricorn in your houses because jupiter goes into capricorn 
um, early December, so we're starting to feel the buildup to that. And so you might start seeing little changes happening leading up to that. And also keep in mind, new moon in Scorpio is on the 27th. That new moon in Scorpio, because it's going to be aspecting Uranus, there's going to be a lot of sudden changes, a lot. A lot of tower moments, a lot of sudden events, shocking events, truths coming out. Also highly aspected for earthquakes, not predicting shit, I'm just saying it is highly aspected for earthquakes, okay? Um, and actually, isn't it just yesterday we did the, the drill? for California. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, Scorpio, the last thing I saw was a hyena. And then I started feeling some real heavy energy here. Okay. Scorpios, I don't feel like this is you. I actually feel like this is someone you're dealing with. And I feel it's very fiery. It could be dealing with the fire signs like Aries, Leo, or Sag. Not necessarily. It just feels like someone's harnessing a lot of fire energy here. Whoever this hyena is, and they don't look happy. They really don't look happy, okay? I would just be very cautious of this person because I do feel a big confrontation about to start with whoever this is in your life, okay? And I do feel like it's gonna be a surprise. Yeah, they want me to tell you that it might not be who you think it is. Interesting. It might not be who you initially, who you initially think it is. Keep in mind, Mercury retrograde season is on the 31st, but we're already in the pre-shadow effect. Always brings the past back, right? Yeah, it's not gonna be who you think it is. Okay. All right, Scorpio. I just, I did just hear a Leo. Okay, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle here. So pre-shuffle guys, I'm just getting the cards calibrated for those. <laughs> wow. Talk about interruptions, maybe. I didn't like that. I did not like that whatsoever. Hmm. Okay, Scorpio. So you guys might have some haters. Keep in mind, Mercury retrograde is also hater, hater region season. Um, interesting uh so anyway i'm just getting the cards calibrated uh for the reading here okay and a lot of times we get a lot of extra messages and channelings also guys i know my energy is a little different i i recently went through a major major kind of deep uh transformation myself and i am i am at the tail end of that and i'm getting recalibrated even in my own energy so if you notice my energy is different that's why and i'm also at the tail end of my ascension on top of it also recalibrating from that. So I'm going to be a little interesting for the next couple of weeks, okay? Okay, Scorpio. Oh, I just saw Swan. Oh, Swan. Okay, I kind of like that. I like that. I feel like that's about taking, uh, needing to take a deeper look into something, Scorpio. A deeper look into an issue or even yourself or a person. And I feel like it's an emotional kind of a look, like uh, emotional look? How do I say that? Emotional peak. <laughs> emotional peak into... A situation, a person, or even yourself, okay? Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. Try to be creative around this time, Scorpio. Um, as we get closer into your season, there's also a lot of sacral energy that comes up with Scorpio because that, that's the shock where you guys roll. Um, really harness that creativity. It's only going to benefit you even more as we get closer and closer to 2020, okay? And Jupiter transitioning. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio. So amazing Venus and Jupiter. October. <laughs> they keep giving me numbers. October 22nd to the 31st. I saw the 26th and the 27th. Those two days could be very important for you. What days of the week does that fall on? Actually, what's today? Lord, I can't keep anything straight. Today's the 18th, and it's Friday, right? So 25th would be a Friday. Oh, so that's a weekend. Oh, Scorpio. You could be having a really fun Halloween weekend. That's interesting. They gave me those dates. I really I really was not sure <laughs> Like when, when that fell during the week. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, I just heard gift. Oh, I like it. Uh, probably for my uh, Scorpios are having uh, birthdays uh, towards the, you know, October birthdays. I saw, I did see flowers. I like that. That was cute. I saw flowers. Some of you guys might be getting flowers unexpectedly. Uh, placing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. They're showing me bodies of water, Scorpio, so please be sure to get around water if you can. I think it's just going to make you feel better. Even if you already feel good can always feel better, right? <laughs> Placing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. I just kind of forgot about you. Oh, 
Ooh, Scorpio, I forgot about you. Oh, 11.22 when I looked at the stove. I was like, wait a second, was that? And it was, 11.22. Oh. Wow, and there's a gorgeous butterfly hanging out on my deck right now. Okay, Scorpio. <laughs> like super bright, super orange. It's like, are they, this isn't even their time, right? It's October. That was crazy. He just, he just flew away, or she, whatever. Uh, Scorpio, obviously transformation is afoot. Scorpio season, and I feel like a lot of you guys are already going through it before Scorpio season happens. 11.22 before I saw that butterfly. Uh, Scorpio, someone you forgot about. Actually, I feel like you're trying to forget about people. I gotta be honest here. I feel like you're trying to forget about people. You're really focusing on you and what's ahead for you, and at the same time, you're trying to enjoy yourself. I don't think you're not, like, talking to people, but I think you're just trying to put yourself first. Ooh, judgment. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Ace of Pentacles. This could be a possible reconciliation with someone in a whole new second chance. Ace of Pentacles usually is indicative of a second start here, okay? Also indicative of just something that you deserve in a new start or new beginning and stability for yourself. So take that as it resonates. Scorpio, I was going to say, someone feels like you forgot about them. You might even tell someone like, oh, I forgot about you. You might be very candid right now, Scorpio. Sorry, this curl's making me crazy. Um, you might be very candid right now, Scorpio. If you have any Sag placements, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, yeah, I'm getting a candidness with you, a bluntness with you, more so than normal. Mercury is in Scorpio as well, and that can lean towards a little bit more bluntness here. But yeah, I, I'm, this is screaming second chance. I'm sorry. This is screaming second chance. Um, others of you where it's not a second chance with someone or in a situation or in a workplace environment, it's something you definitely deserve. It's something you deserve, and I feel like something that's been long overdue as well. Some of you might get a, a, a settlement, a settlement win. That's been coming through for a couple people when I've been doing readings lately. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. It's, com it's coming, Scorpio. It's coming. Some of you have been anticipating this. Whatever this Ace of Pentacles is, you've been anticipating it. Not quite losing hope, but just kind of like... I guess whenever it happens, it's going to happen. <laughs> and that's kind of how some of you have started taking that kind of uh, approach to it. Placing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, hoo, hoo. devil in reverse. You're free. I just heard you're free, Scorpio. Oh. That really hit my heart chakra all of a sudden. Devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. You're free. Why do I want to cry? <laughs> you're free, Scorpio. Oh my God. Okay, this feels really deep all of a sudden. Uh, Scorpio, some of you, whatever. Sorry. <clears throat> Scorpio, some of you, whatever this is, whether it's a gift, a second chance with someone, a reconciliation with someone, or just a whole new start, something you've been waiting for, something you've been feeling very deserving of. Others, it is a reward for your hard work and a blessing. Whatever that is, Scorpio, it's really, oh my God, sorry. <laughs> it's really freeing you from something um, that's really kept you pinned down or restricted for quite some time here. Whether you've been very cognizant or not of this, whatever this double energy is, um, you're gonna feel very free, like to the point where like you might wanna cry. Like now, I'm trying not to cry, Scorpio. Um, how do I say this? It's tears of joy. <laughs> it's like there's a term for this. Tears of joy. Some of you, this is something you thought you'd never get. Oh my god, okay. Don't make me cry, Scorpio. You're the first read of the day, and I did just do my eyeliner. Stop it. Okay. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio. So oh my god. Some of this is definitely a mending happening here. It's almost like as you're mending a bridge, there's a lot of toxicity and pain being released. And it feels like it's um it's almost like a moment of release. Not like a crying release, but like like literally like a second or two while you're trying to mend a bridge with someone or someone's trying to mend a bridge with you. This is not going to be for everybody. This is more for those in that second chance group here. Because some of you, this is definitely a whole new something else, okay? But some of you in this reconciliation group, as this per I feel like that you're getting approached, Scorpio. I don't think you're doing the approaching because you're very withdrawn right now. Um, whoever's approaching you, Scorpio, it's like whatever this mending of a bridge is, it's a, oh my God, spirit, stop it. Spirit just got cheesy. I was about to say mending the bridge, they said mending your heart a little bit here, where it's going to be a moment or two where it's like, 
like you're gonna feel something leave your heart chakra and it's probably gonna make you cry tears of joy oh my scorpio too early for this any of them uh please bring forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for scorpio sun moon rising venus and jupiter october 22nd to the 31st Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, we're not even in Scorpio season yet. God damn it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give it a couple more. If nothing else comes out, we'll get started. It's time. Yeah. Scorpio, when I, oh, I got the chills. Whenever this moment happens, whenever this moment happens and this big release happens again I feel like it's only gonna be like a couple seconds of like you're actually gonna feel energetically like something has left you forever wow something is going to leave you forever and you are going to be very different <laughs> I'm just like it feels like almost shocking to the system I, I it's yeah it feels almost shocking to the system uh you're gonna feel very different you're gonna feel very different. Justice in a verse at the bottom. It's probably something that has been long overdue and something you feel was very, like a big wrongdoing towards you. Sorry, I don't have all my words with me today. Um, some of you have felt like you've had to bear the weight of constantly being at the shitty end of injustices or being taken advantage of or underestimated. Wow, I'm getting all kinds of things here, Scorpio. Obviously it's for different groups of you. Um, misjudged taken advantage of betrayed almost like it's like anyone who's ever done you wrong i think has seen you as kind of like well it's not really gonna hurt scorpio because they're scorpio either because you come off so strong or because people probably think people don't really hurt you and then it turns out everyone hurts you oh scorpio okay well anyway that shit's being released okay <laughs> That shit's being released. Let's go ahead and get started on the reading now that we're like basically 20 minutes in. <laughs> Scorpio. For those who are new to my channel, new to tarot, please know these messages are very general, okay? Messages come through for those who need to hear them. So just keep that in mind as you heard me set the intention already. If this message isn't for you, it ain't for you and that's okay. There's plenty of other readers on YouTube and I do get multiple messages for different people as you've already noticed, okay? So stick around, you could find something in here for you. Oh, by the way, people have been asking me about premieres versus lives. So guys, a premiere is basically, well, I'm doing a premiere on this one, so glad I can do this expl explanation in this one. It's a pre-recorded video. It's a pre-recorded video, but it just pr literally premieres, right? It premieres it so that you guys can chat and all of that stuff together. I don't watch all the premieres because it depends on how much time I have available, and I don't usually have time, but if I do have time, I go in and I watch with you guys. I don't like to say anything when I'm watching, though, because I want you guys to focus on the reading and not focus on trying to talk to me or ask me questions. I want you guys to focus on the message at hand. Um, but that's the difference between a premiere and a live. A live, I'm actually doing it right then and there as you guys are in the chat. But that's the difference, okay? Um, so yeah, just know that, just know that. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to mention with that? There was another thing I wanted to mention about premieres. Um, hmm, I don't remember. Oh, now I do. Okay, because <laughs> I peeked in on the Virgo one ye yesterday. Yeah, that was just yesterday. I peeked in on the Virgo one yesterday and someone left like super fast and they felt the need to announce that they were leaving. <laughs> I don't know. People are interesting. Hey, do you? Do you, boo? Uh, but it was only like a few minutes in. Guys, you see all the prep I do on these, right? The core message probably doesn't come out until like about the 30 minute mark. So just know that. So like, if you're like, oh, this isn't for me, this isn't for me within the first like couple minutes, I'm just getting warmed up. I'm just getting warmed up. So stick around for a while, okay? Because you could find a message in there for you. Even if it's one sentence that resonates, just hang on to it because you're probably um, it's probably resonating with you for a reason, okay? So take it home with you, marinate on it, all right? So we are working with energy, guys. So just know that messages can be reversed or vice versa. So if it's resonating with you, but the roles are reversed, just switch them. Energy's fluid. It's not linear. You know who you are in the story if it's resonating with you. Um, also, guys, don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. And this might be time framed for the 22nd to the 31st, but it could be for any period of time because time is not linear. Whenever you're guided to watch reading, no matter who it's from, that's when you're supposed to watch it, okay? All right, Scorpios, let's get started truly at 20 minutes now. <laughs> Sorry. You guys had a lot of stuff coming through. Okay. They also keep bringing up snakes here. Um, I, I really feel like it's about power, Scorpio. Um, 
I feel like you're growing in your strength and in your power. You're already pretty powerful, but it's almost like you've had an untapped reserve. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's almost like you've had an untapped reserve. Like if you're a mine <laughs> of power, so to speak, <laughs> so to speak, you missed a big main vein somewhere that was buried like 10 miles down or what would have you. I don't think, well, 10 miles, that sounds a little excessive. You know what I mean? Very deeply down and like you just discovered it. You just discovered it. And I'm saying, I'm not saying you're not powerful. I'm just saying there's been a main vein that you missed. Okay. And Scorpios, you're finding it, you're tapping into it. And I think you're going to shock a lot of people. Okay. Any messages for Scorpios? Any messages for Scorpios regarding love? October 22nd to the 31st. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love? October 22nd to the 31st. They're showing me that playing dead thing again. Uh, like, it's weird the way they're showing it to me. I'm not going to go into it because it's kind of graphic. Um, but quite literally, it's like you're playing dead, letting the predator sniff you out, getting really close, and then letting them walk away. It's interesting. Again, Scorpio, this could be vice versa, you know, as I said before. Uh, any messages for Scorpio regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? Oh, that's interesting, Scorpio. Uh, some of you are trying to um, birth, birth something here. It could be something you've been working on in secret or something you've been uh, incubating. Oh, I just got incubating, interesting. Uh, think tank, Jesus, hold on, slow down. Um, some of you guys could be involved with a think, a th I can't say that word, think tank. Some of you could be involved with that kind of a business. Um, some of you guys have just been kind of letting ideas and creativity kind of percolate a little bit, incubate specifically, they told me incubate. Some of you guys could be pregnant. A lot of people are born in October. A lot. A lot of people are born in October. Um, thank you, Valentine's Day. Anyway. Uh, and winter, just in general. Anyway, I'm being funny. Scorpios, come back, come back, come back. Come back to me. Um, so you guys be birthing something, incubating ideas. You're ready to birth, though. I can feel it. You're ready to birth probably because your season's coming up, okay? Which is all about death and rebirth. All right. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? October 22nd to the 31st more thank you i just saw antelope i've got so many messages for different people here um whatever you're birthing scorpio whatever change you're going through when you're done with it when you're done with whatever process you're going through with trying to bring something to life creating ideas your own little transformation playing dead whatever it is scorpio whatever you're doing that's about to end when you're when it's over you're gonna take off on something you're gonna take off on something it's gonna go really fast oh not a cup Scorpio, I love it. Piscean energy. This is being super freaking happy by yourself. This is super, yeah, honestly, Scorpio, this is also wish fulfillment. That Ace of Pentacles, I'm damn it, what the hell? Sorry, I just got a message and I couldn't catch it and it was just a weird message. A lot of shit going on with my phone today. Scorpios, you might have a lot of interfering energies around you, so please be mindful of that. Like people trying to interrupt you a lot and I think I was picking up on that already, right? Uh, once I get messages, I try not to hold on to them too much. Um, but keep that in mind, Scorpio. That usually happens a lot when you're on the precipice of something amazing and people know it and they want a piece of it or they just don't want you to have it. So keep that in mind if you feel people are trying to distract you. Anyway, Nine of Cups, Piscean Energy, wish fulfillment, being incredibly emotionally happy on your own. It's almost like, um, I'm just hearing exclusive. Interesting, exclusive. Uh, some of you might be getting exclusive offers. Whether that's the actual like romantic exclusive, but I don't feel like that is. I feel like it's almost like special, like unique offers of Scorpio, we saw you do this. Hey, hey, hey. Right? It's 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 offers unique to you. Ooh, Scorpio. And a lot of you this is uh something that you've been wanting or wish fulfillment. Either way, you're gonna start feeling amazing when you're coming out of whatever process the many that I named um is done. Some people are very jealous that you're very happy on your own, Scorpio. Also be mindful of that. You might feel negative energy from time to time. It's not yours, it's other people. 
Oh, interest. Yeah, six of wands in reverse, Jupiter, Leo energy. Yeah, it's interesting. As happy as you are, it's almost like you don't want attention right now. This is so interesting. Scorpio, whatever you're coming into, that Ace of Pentacles, whatever the Ace of Pentacles is, people are going to be vying for your attention. People are going to be grabbing at you, wanting to hit you up, all that shit, interrupt your process, whatever it is, and you don't want the limelight on you. You don't want attention on you. For anybody who's in the public eye, you're very much like, like, like you don't see me <laughs> that's so interesting but that's what i'm getting with this scorpio as happy as you are you, you don't you don't want a lot of attention and i feel like mostly because you can tell a lot of the attention is coming from either codependency or people who are jealous of you trying to just kind of jump in on your on your train here a little bit you know what makes you happy and you know a lot of people like i said you're playing dead right don't don't look don't look here don't don't look over here don't don't look at don't look you don't need to be looking over here it's that kind of energy interesting scorpio let's see what else we got any other messages for scorpio regarding love oh magician oh scorpio i'm liking this what are you cooking you're cooking up something mercurial energy virgo gemini could also be aquarius scorpio for me as a reader divine mask and energy this is serious manifestation come back this is serious manifestation you're manifesting your happiness and you don't want people to take notice you're doing i'm telling you scorpio i think this is you playing dead of like you're, you're, you're cooking you're cooking you're cooking someone smells what you're up to or your you know whatever creative process you're doing whatever it is you're creating for yourself people are starting to notice something people are starting to like make like, something's happening with scorpio something's good gonna happen to scorpio and then you just stop like i'm not really here <laughs> you don't see me you don't see me in what i'm doing <laughs> this is interesting scorpio and it, some of you could honestly be hiding from an ex i'm not gonna lie to you some of you could definitely be hiding from an ex any messages for scorpio either way you're pushing you're, you're pushing out interruptions that's the gist of it you're pushing interruptions any messages for scorpio regarding love october 22nd to the 31st oh four of pentacles yeah capricorn energy you're keeping this close to your chest whatever it is that you're working on whatever happiness you're coming into whatever this ace of pentacles is it's making you really freaking happy but you do not want people to know whatever reason you don't want people to know you don't want the attention i'm hearing you don't want to explain either oh my god and look overall energy ace of pentacles oh my god scorpio with the lovers gemini energy holy freaking shit with the four of wands scorpio some of you this is seriously a relationship <laughs> <laughs> oh my god ace of pentacles with the lovers lovers is gemini energy also my divine soul connection card four of wands aries energy some of you this is a straight up engagement proposal exclusive relationship a, a marriage and, and for some reason it's like you don't want people to know that's so weird i'm sorry not weird i'm sorry but like you know what i mean it's peculiar it's atypical it's atypical it's not it's not the norm here okay it's not the norm it's not the norm it's not the norm um so me, this is a second chance with someone you already know, a reconciliation that I was picking up on before. Others, it's just a brand new spanking opportunity, Scorpio. And I feel like you manifested it. Could it be just a business offer? Yes, absolutely. Feels like it, it feels romantic, though. I got to be honest. It feels romantic. But for some of you, it is business. And it's something you've been wanting, wish fulfillment, but you don't want people to know. You don't want eyes on you. You don't, oh, you don't want, you. yeah, you don't want to explain. This is interesting, Scorpio. You don't want to explain you don't want to talk about it. It's like you I think you feel a lot of probing eyes on whatever this is, a lot of probing into you and you're just like I don't want to be probed. <laughs> no Scorpio likes to be probed. You don't want to be probed about it, which is why you don't want attention on it. And like I said, it's something you've been manifesting. You've been keeping close to your chest about it, okay? For some of you, you saved a lot of money as well for whatever this could possibly be if it's career or money related. So, Scorpio, let's go into the 9 of cups and see what this is about. I'm using right or wait for this one. Time of the Nine of Cups. Time of the Nine of Cups. Time of the Nine of Cups for Scorpio. Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Keep in mind, guys, this can be vice versa. Okay? So just know that. Where you can be approaching someone and whatever it is, it's like you don't want anyone to be probing it, poking at it time with the nine of cups but you guys are asking about the signs um it's all energy we all harness every zodiac sign that we need to but i'll call them out i see aries i see gemini 
Gemini is featuring pretty strongly because we have two Gemini cards here. Um, we've got Capricorn, we've got Virgo, Aqua, Scorp, Pisces, and Leo. So almost all the Zodiacs right out the gate. Start of the Nine of Cups. Start of the Nine of Cups for Scorpio. Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Some of the Nine of Cups. Oh, Scorpio. Five of Cups. Okay, Scorpionic energy. I feel like this is you coming out of your process. Like I said, Scorpio, a lot of you are coming out of your process just to basically run into this big Ace of Pentacles opportunity here. For some of you, like I said, it's something that you thought you'd never get. It's something you thought you'd never get. Especially if this is a reconciliation or a second chance. You never thought it would come back, and it has. It's something that you feel was lost to you at some point in time or something that you felt like was out of your reach at some point in time, whatever this opportunity is. But you manifested it. It's a totally a wish fulfillment. Woo! Oh, oh my God. Sorry, Scorpio. Sorry, sorry. I know, I get all excited. Look, <laughs> look, the sun, Leo energy, wheel of fortune, Jupiter energy. Someone could have a Jupiter and Leo placement. If anyone here has a Jupiter Leo placement, that's very auspicious, especially for uh, fame especially for fame, uh, but any, and, <coughs> excuse me, and public notoriety. Um, but anyway, anyway, Scorpio, oh, the sun is shining on you, okay? The sun is shining on you. You're getting your wish fulfillment. You manifested it. It's something that you thought was always eluding you or something you thought you'd never have or something you've actually lost at one point in time. And you're going to be really freaking happy, okay? <laughs> you're going to be really freaking happy. Oh my God. Okay. Let's look even further. Let's look even further. So I got the Nine of Cups. I, sorry guys, hold on. I'm sitting on a crystal and it started poking me in a very awkward way. Okay, so I got the Nine of Cups for Scorpio. So I got the Nine of Cups for Scorpio regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Overall energy, oh, we got the Eight of Wands, Sagittarian energy, movement. This is actual movement, communication as well. Some of you guys could be traveling and, you know, regarding this this opportunity oh knight of wands sag energy could also be aries or leo with the four of wands oh my god look at all that fire <laughs> look at all that fire scorpio someone like i said is heading to you okay someone's heading to you for some of you like i said it's a second chance of reconciliation others it's a brand new person either way it's regarding an opportunity like i said i'm not saying a broken record i'm saying it over and over so you hear me so really like gets into your head here Scorpio whatever this is it's something you thought you never have or that you actually lost before and the sun is shining on you Scorpio and the wheel is turning and someone's coming in fast fast I mean Knight of Wands is already fast energy Eight of Wands is fast communication and movement someone might actually need to travel sorry I was like what the hell is that someone might actually travel here to your home that four of wands but i feel like it's really about an offer of stability and commitment in business or love it does feel like it's mostly love for you guys underneath that by the way we do have the eight of pentacles virgo energy someone wants to put in a lot of work here a lot of work a lot of freaking work to this scorpio if you've been working on your own thing here like like i said a lot of you've been manifesting 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 some of you have been incubating your ideas and creative shit for some whatever you've been building up on someone wants to add to it Okay, someone wants to add to it. Oh, Scorpio. I'm excited. You got me all going. All right, anyway. You don't want prying eyes on this, though. You don't. You really don't want prying eyes on this. I can feel... <laughs> it's like, is this a secret affair? Like, what is this, Scorpio? Either, whatever, for whatever reason, you don't want to... You just don't want to explain. That's how they wanted me to tell it to you. You don't want to explain. You don't want to get the questions. You don't want to have to talk about it. You don't want to have to explain shit. You just want to enjoy it. You just want to enjoy it. So let's go to the magician with the four of pentacles. Uh, let's look at the four of pentacles. This is kind of why you're keeping it so close to your chest here. Um, Spellcasters. So I have the four of pentacles. So I have the four of pentacles. Out the four of pentacles for scorpio let's talk about the four of pentacles for scorpio 
So the Four of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Stop it. Okay. So the Four of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love. Scorpio, I, I feel like some of you might have been closed off to this kind of thing before. I don't know I'm picking up on that. I feel like some of you guys might have been really closed off to... If this is a reconciliation, I think you've been closed off to this person. Understandably so, if it's a second ch chance at something that clearly didn't work out before because it's a second chance, right? Um, but I do kind of feel that, Scorpio. It's like, I know you guys get the rap for being controlling and possessive. But I think for some, like, that translated into being really guarded or closed off. It's only for some of you. So I have the Four of Pentacles. I don't know why I'm getting Cap and Aqua. I could be dealing with a Cusper. Ten of the Four of Pentacles for Scorpio. Ten of the Four of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love. October 26th. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, guys. Hold up. Oh, my. Oh, my. We've got the star, Aquarian energy, so it's funny I was getting Cap and Aqua, and then Page of Swords in reverse. This is clarifying the Four of Pentacles here, okay, about what you've been keeping so close to your chest. Star with the freaking sun. Some of you, this is fame. I'm not going to lie to you. Some of you, this is fame or public notoriety, okay? Especially with the Wheel of Fortune here. I mean, Jesus. Sorry, I'm just like, I'm a little amazed here, Scorpio. This is like, this is blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings after feeling major release and a major renewal to your being in essence, Scorpio. Wow. Anyway, but page of swords in reverse. Yeah, this is you're not talking about it. You're not talking. You're not talking about what you've been manifesting. And I feel like you know something, Scorpio, about your destiny. Oh, I see, Scorpio. It's almost like some of you are going to get a little intuitive hit or have a dream or a vision. Something. This is only for some of you. And it can happen at any point during this whole timeline. I feel like it's actually before this person comes in. I do feel it's before this person comes in to talk to you, Scorpio. Um, where it's like you get a little flash of what's to come. And you realize how great it is of whatever's to come. And you're like, I'm not saying shit. <laughs> I'm not saying shit. <laughs> Scorpio, I love it. I love it. All right. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles for Scorpio. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Okay, overall energy. Oh, interesting. We have Five of Swords, Venus, and Aquarian energy with the Seven of Cups, Scorpionic energy. Wow. And Three of Swords in reverse, Libra energy. This is defeating some major ass. I feel bullshit, honestly. Oh, wow. Yes, Scorpio, this is one of the reasons you're playing dead, okay? <laughs> playing dead, playing naive, keeping your mouth shut, being quiet about things, not wanting to share about this opportunity. You know people are going to come after you. This is interesting. You know people don't want you to have this. Whatever it is, you know people are, are, are just, they don't want you to have it. They don't want you to have it. It's almost like defeating the dream is what I'm getting with this. Defeating the dream. Yeah, Scorpio, I totally understand why you don't want to share about this. I also feel like when opportunities like this have come your way before, you've gotten really excited and they haven't panned out for whatever reason or another, whether because of external influences by other people um, or you just got too excited about something that wasn't supposed to last. Either way, <laughs> you're keeping quiet. And I think that's very wise. I think that's very, very wise here. Um, I'm also thinking something about competition. Defeating the competition. This person might feel like they have a competition, Scorpio, to offer you this. That's for some if you have multiple suitors around you. Even if you do or don't, they, they think that. They think that. Whoever's offering you this or adding to whatever it is you're building. For some, it, it's definitely adding to. Almost like, Scorpio, I know what you're working on, even though you've been keeping quiet about it. If that's the case, they might just be intuitive or they could be someone from your, your inner, inner, inner circle here. Um, like, I know what you've been working on. I could bring this to the table. Interesting. That I feel like is way more workplace. But I keep, yeah, I keep getting competition here. I'm hearing someone wants to get you alone. 
What is this? Sorry, I'm getting a lot of channelings for you, Scorpio. Someone wants to get you alone. <sighs> Something about your home. Hold on, let me, let me get into this. Um, it doesn't feel sinister. I feel like some of you guys were like, oh no, why do they let me alone? <laughs> it's not sinister, it doesn't feel sinister. Um, Scorpios, you're always authentic in your home or not in your home, but it's almost like someone knows when you're really at home alone that there's just more of your gen genteel energy that can come out. I think that's what it is. You're going to be more vulnerable alone in your home. That's a, that's why someone wants to get you alone in your home. Again, not sinister. I can feel you guys being like, ah, it's not sinister. <laughs> it's not sinister. I feel like it's to get at the core root of an issue. Interesting. To get at the core root of an issue or a truth here or an honesty. Hmm. If you don't trust this person, you don't trust this person. I feel like some of you don't. Some of you don't trust this person. Either way, that was for someone. That was for someone out there. Okay, let's get some advice, Scorpio. Let's get some advice. Because you got something big and yummy and ah! <laughs> and just, I, I just honestly, blessings on top of blessings, Scorpio. It feels really amazing. And like I said, for, for all of you who are resonating with this, it's something you either lost already or something you thought you'd never have. It's making you really happy, but you're keeping quiet about it, intentionally keeping quiet about it, because some of you, this is like a dream come true. Others, it's part of your destiny, and you already got a little hint of it before this person came in. That's for some of you. But you also don't want to talk about it, because you know people are going to try to shatter this dream for you. Yeah, I, I feel really strongly, Scorpio, especially if this is like, well, actually any offer, business or romance. Do, don't tell people also because I think people are going to try to put ideas in your head. I mean, people are going to try to put ideas in your head as to what it, it possibly isn't or the sinister, you know, energy that may or may not be there. I don't feel like there is, honestly. It feels very um, authentic. It feels very authentic and very genuine. Don't don't talk to people about this. Just don't. It looks like you're not going to anyway, but but don't. Just don't. Let's see. Any advice from Scorpios? I, I'm not taking these because I just started, but we have Badger Spirit and... Uh, lizard spirit, dream the world into being and be fearless and bold. Basically going after your dreams. Which I guess actually does apply here, but I didn't I didn't fill up the cards already. Any advice for Scorpio regarding this spread? I know, sorry, I'm kinda telling on your secret. <laughs> I'm kinda telling all your shit. I'm sorry, Scorpio. But the people who like care most likely won't be watching this, right? The people who like want to sabotage you most likely aren't watching this. Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Ha! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Ah, butterfly! I love it. Armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries with the energy of three. Set those boundaries with communication. Basically, keep your lips zipped, Scorpio. <laughs> keep your lips zipped. People don't need to know your business. You already are pretty damn secretive anyway. People don't need, don't need to know about this. Scorpio is your secretive, but when you come into some good things, you do like sharing that information. People don't realize that. Like, it's not that you're like keeping secrets and shit. Like, you don't want people to know your business. You just, you're just so much better. That's what it is. Okay, Scorpio, here's what it is. I'm going to tell some Scorpio secrets here for my cross watchers. When it comes to Scorpios, it's not that you try to hide information. It's just that you're naturally great at having people divulge their information. So Scorpios, you spend a lot of time listening because it's just the nature, that's just the effect you have on people. So it's like, if someone's talking, you're going to let them talk. You're not going to interrupt them just to share your shit, you know? That's just how Scorpios work. It's not that they try to hide information. People just give a lot of information. They're not going to stop you from doing that. Anyway, uh, keep your lips zipped, Scorpio, because this is something really freaking beautiful, okay? I also feel like this is about um, the energy I was feeling of your process here. Your process. Whatever transformation you're going through, um, whatever the playing dead is that you're doing here, Scorpio, whatever it is, it's birthing something beautiful and freaking amazing, and people don't need to keep their eyes on it. People don't need to probe. They don't need to know. They don't need to ask questions. You can keep people at bay. And they don't have to like it, but that's too bad for them. It's very much needed for right now. Very much needed. Be careful of who you share information with. Just try not to. Just try not to. Okay. Any other advice for Scorpios? 
Any other advice for my Scorpios? Ooh. Any other advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Honestly, some of you guys, this is like an engagement. I'm not going to lie. Some of you, this is an engagement or a marriage. And it's going to happen fast. Okay. Now we... <laughs> yeah, well, oh, oh, 44, 44, and I looked out at the phone. It's going to be different because I put the intro on it. But it was 44, 44, and I looked out at the phone. And I love spirit. Life is speeding up. I don't even need the cards for you today. And grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. You have another three here. Communication and energy of two here. Grasshopper spirit is like my fool card energy. So like I said, Scorpios, when you get done with this process and this ace of pentacles, oh, and this ace of pentacles hits you in the face, it's going to take off fast. Things are going to happen really freaking fast. If this is like a new relationship, it's going to evolve incredibly fast. If this is a business offer, you're going to you're going to see success very very quickly here, okay? It's happening really freaking fast. And then we have oh, Excuse me. Elephant spirit. Learn from the past. 25 breaking down to a 7. This is taking everything you've been through. Everything you've been through, Scorpio, and putting in those lessons to work. And I feel like for a lot of you that is about people, about relationships. I feel like it's mostly about lessons about people and relationships and things you learned along the way of not only how you interact with people, but how to interact to your best benefit, like keeping your lips zipped, okay? N things like that. Also, um, trust. I'm getting trust. How to trust appropriately. It's interesting. How to trust appropriately. You could be dealing with someone. Um, I was getting that fiery energy. Um, I know there's a nakshatra, and there's an elephant nakshatra in... Um, in Vedic. I'm trying to remember which one it is. I think it's Aries. I could be mistaken, but I think it's an Aries nakshatra. Oh, how do you say it? Um, it's going to make me crazy. So you know, some of you might be dealing with someone with that nakshatra placement. I'm trying to see if they'll give me anything. Saturn, maybe? Saturn or rising? Interesting. Saturn or rising. Oh, uh, Saturn and rising. Anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> made a second video so you could be dealing with someone like that not necessarily but that's kind of the energy i'm getting here i also feel like the person you're dealing with is coming from a place of having learned a lot themselves having recently been been through the ringer which is why they want to come in so fast to you scorpio because they know they know what could come of dealing with you or being with you scorpio i kind of want to look at this night a little bit okay we're gonna look at the overall energy for the um advice and then we'll look at this night because this night is very curious to me um, ooh, white raven spirit, trust in magic. I like it with the energy of 66 as a master number. Is this the last card? Oh, that's so funny. I thought this was the last card in the deck and it's not. It's wolf, which is right underneath, which is more about learning here. Could also have wolf as an animal totem. Again, not necessarily. I'm picking up with the elephant and the wolf. They're screaming as animal totems to me for some reason for a lot of you. Take that as it resonates. It's not going to be for everybody, but turn knowledge into wisdom here. This is learning to trust spirit, learning to tr learning to trust, learning to trust spirit, learning to trust the universe and that everything happens in the way it's supposed to. Scorpios, I feel like some of you had trouble control. Thank you. Some of you had trouble with this and it is around issues of control. Some of you have finally learned that you can't control the universe. You can't control spirit and that most things in life, as far as events are concerned that happen to us, are out of our control and that we can't control people and things happen the way they're supposed to no matter how hard it is to to no matter how hard it is to accept that some of you have really learned that and that everything happens in your highest good as long as you do right by you that everything happens in your highest good even if it feels shitty sometimes even if it feels like you're not getting what you want right like losing something you you had at one point or feeling like you're never gonna get something well, you're getting it you're learning that you just had to relinquish control Ooh, scorpio okay all right let's look at the knight of wands then we'll wrap this up having talking a lot today scorpio i'm gonna pull this knight of wands out of here uh let's take a look here i kind of want to use a new deck but i'm not used to using it yet um we'll go for it i'm being called to use it but like i said it's new it's actually so you know how i have the lenormand deck you know I have this one. So it's just another Lenormand deck. <coughs> but it's expanded. <laughs> Excuse me. So there's more stuff in it than that tip than that deck. This one. Um, a few readers use it. Angelic Guidance uh, 333 uses it. Hey, I don't know if she watches me anymore, but hi. Uh, I love her. She's amazing. She actually gave me some really nice confirmations that I needed about a month or so ago. She's 
amazing. Check her out. Anyway, so let's go ahead and use this deck on the Knight of Wands. But like I said, I'm still getting accustomed to it, so I might have to pull the book out. I literally just opened it yesterday. Tell about the Knight of Wands for Scorpio. Tell me about this Knight of Wands that's approaching Scorpio. Ha! <laughs> Sorry. I know, I can't stop. Uh, the Clover, energy of two with the Six of Pentacles here. Like I said, for some of you, this is a reconciliation. So Six of Pentacles, mending bridges here. But the Clover is luck. It's luck. Jupiter, it's luck, okay? Luck and fortune. Mm, okay. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands. I also just heard a pair, pair, pair. And we did the energy of two. Like P-A-I-R, not like pear, but pears are yum. Oh, actually, I've not had a pear in a long time. Uh, sorry, a little ADD. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. But that actually, a pear sounds really yummy right now. <laughs> Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Wands for Scorpio. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is luck. This is luck knocking at your door, Scorpio. You've been manifesting this and luck is now here. Luck is just when preparation meets opportunity and you've been working on it. You've been working on it. Even if you've been feeling like, I'm never gonna get it, I'm never gonna get it, I'm never gonna get it, you're getting it. Tell me about the Knight of Wands for Scorpio. Tell me about the Knight of Wands for Scorpio regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Oh, ooh, we got quite a few cards that just jumped out of here. Okay, it's kind of sweet. It's kind of sweet. So now we have the key, energy of 33, a master number with the eight of pentacles, which we had down here, right? Willing to put the work in. Also something you've been working really hard on, Scorpio. Your manifestation or your project, whatever it is you've been incubating on or manifesting. Then we have the bridge with 38 breaking down to an 11 here. Then we have the woman. I feel like this is the expecting woman. Seems expecting. It seems expecting. I kind of want to look that up. I might. You have another 11 here with 29 and then the Ace of Swords, Truth. I feel like it's contemplation, Scorpio. You be, yeah, you being in your process, especially with the Anchor. Anchor is the Nine of Swords with the energy of 35, breaking down to an 8. Yeah, Scorpio, I feel really strongly this is you incubating, processing, being in your process, seeking the truth with that Eight of Swords. Anchor is being stuck. It's being stuck or being tied down to. It's not always a bad energy. It could also be very positive energy, like being tied to commitment, right? It could also be that kind of energy, but this is you being very much kind of, some of you nine of swords, some of you in your head, but mostly just stuck in contemplation. I don't wanna use the word stuck because I, like, I don't feel like this is bad. I feel like it's just you being in your process. Um, staying, we'll say staying. <laughs> committed to, there we go. Committed to your process. This is you committed to your process of seeking out your own truth and what's best for you. Even though it does have a nine of swords, some of you could have gone into that anxiety and fear mode. I feel like most of you stayed pretty grounded though during this process. But with the bridge and the key, oh my, mending, mending, mending bridges, Scorpio. This Knight of Wands, they're, this, as a stroke of luck, when preparation meets opportunity, universe is knocking on your door, this person's coming in, a very unexpected event as well, to unlock mending a bridge with you, okay? To unlock mending a bridge with you or just to make a connection. For those of those a new person, making an offer in business or love, to make that connection with you. And like I said, for someone, it's about mending some old wounds here, okay? Let's see what else wants to come out. Can I work with the Knight of Wands? for Scorpio. So I remember the Knight of Wands for Scorpio. This person could be at a distance from you, but not necessarily. So we got two other cards out here. Oh yeah, some of this is definitely about business. We have birds and the fish. Fish is usually equated with money or currency, but also emotion because it's water. It could be with the Pisces, but not necessarily. Um, we have the Seven of Pentacles, so investment with the King of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, yummy, yummy, yummy. Uh, 30, 34, excuse me, breaking down to a seven. 12 breaking down to a three. Three plus seven, cyclical energy to open a whole new cycle here, to make an offer. They want to invest. They want to invest in you financially for some, others just in the realm of emotion, and they want to talk about it. They want to talk about it. Overall, we do have the compass, 42, breaking down to a six. Compass I'm not super familiar with, actually. Um, I feel like it's about your path and direction. It is a compass. Yeah, it's about your path and direction. Path and direction. Okay, I'll break up the book for this one just because I'm not familiar with it. All right, because that's not in the original one that I have. 
I'll just read it to you guys. And then we'll wrap this up because we're almost at an hour. Okay, Scorpio? All right. I'm here to help you find your way. If there's a journey to be taken or a choice to be made, I can provide you with the directions and a path so you don't stray. Oh, I like that. The compass card is an indicator of the direction one is meant to go. Okay. Yeah, that's what I figured. It can represent someone or something that provides guidance and helps direct you toward a goal. This card urges you to examine the point or focus of your undertaking. Look where the needle is pointed. Other nearby cards may provide insight as to your direction and your destination. Uh, whether you're facing the mountain or a choice, you need to stop to get your bearings and make a plan. This card advises, advises you to not proceed blindly without direction. Know where you're going, but also know why you are going and what you expect to find. The compass card represents the many things that can guide you on your path. This card is a reminder to notice and heed the signs and symbols you might see along the way. Pay particular attention to the cards that relate to travel and movement, such as rider, ship, and the stork. The compass may also point to feedback other people. Hold on other people offer you listen to your gut to determine who might be your true north and those who might be too eager to give advice and seek control you can listen to other suggestions but you don't always have to follow it look to the key and stars to find further clarity and like i said we have the key unlocking the pathway to you so scorpio this compass is for the night this compass is for the night not for you look to the key you're the key scorpio you're the key you're this person's true north. Oh, oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, that's really sweet. That might be the, that might be, oh uh, yeah, that's going to be the name of the title. You're this person's true north. Whether it's just business or love, it's going to be either or for some of you, but it's mostly love. It's mostly love. So congratulations, Scorpio. And that came out really, really quiet. Congratulations, Scorpio. Okay. If you don't want to take it, you don't want to take it, but clearly looks like you want to take it okay it's something that you've been wanting for yourself and wanting to manifest for yourself for a while and now it's here okay so scorpios i hope you enjoyed that don't forget to go on patreon check that out along with instagram facebook and twitter and i will see you guys later have a great night scorps namaste